Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in R tutorial series. So today we will be looking at ribbon plot. So this is one of my personal favorites because we use it a lot in trading and stock market. So for that, let's first install the ggplot2 package and let's create a sample data frame which has years and like for the 40 years we will just make up a stock and have columns for the lowest value of the stock for each year and the highest value of stock for each year and also an average value so the etf value represents our average value so here i'm just making it up and it's the uh, half of the sum of the low and high and here the runner function is just to create some random variables so i'm telling that just create uh, 40 random variables with minimum equal 50 and maximum equal 100 same way i'm telling create another 40 variables uh, with minimum equal 100 and maximum equal 200 we will just assume that in 40 years this etf value almost doubled and here we have 40 years so that's why i put 81 instead of 80 so let's create is this data frame okay like i said this data frame has four columns with 40 years and data of like an etf with like an average value as well as high and low we need the high and low here because uh, what we are gonna plot with the ribbon plots is that uh, we'll be plotting what is the highest and the what is the lowest value so uh, the special case of ribbon plot is the area plot which we covered in one of the previous videos in that case the change is that the minimum the y minimum is zero and the y max is actually the y value that's that will be like the average here these are really helpful in stock market because instead of using uh, candles if we use these ribbon plots it's kind of smooth in the curve and like when we have moving averages it kind of helps us remove the noise so that out of the way let's try to create the ggplot so here what we are telling is that we are giving the data set name and in the aesthetic we input the x value so how we will be plotting is that we'll be plotting the change in etf for the years on the y-axis we will have the etf value and on the x-axis we have the years so for this we use the geom ribbon function and what you need to remember is that we need to have a y minimum and a y maximum here and i'm just giving it a color so let's run this code so this is our ribbon plot so on the y-axis we have the uh, etf value so maybe we can just add it yeah that's better yeah so on the y-axis we have the etf value on the x-axis we have years so this shows you like how the etf was fluctuating over the years so the top part will be the maximum of an etf for an year and the lower part will be the minimum of an etf for that particular year this will make way more sense in my opinion if you add like a line in between so let's use the geom line function for that and in the aesthetic we will just give y equal the etf value so now let's run this yeah so this actually makes way more sense let's try to make it look a bit better maybe we'll change the size and also we will have color to something let's say dark blue yeah so i think this looks way better and easily understandable so this blue line here shows the average etf value for the years and here we have the it's like a confidence interval with uh, the maximum value here and the minimum value here over the years well that's all for now i hope you guys found this video helpful please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you are looking into more data visualization and data analysis related videos i'll see you tomorrow ciao